Hello everyone and welcome back to Ground Zero. Now on Stomp, we often see inconsiderate people like the motoring gundus and the ones who take up extra seats on trains, on buses or even at food courts. And no one can stand such selfish behaviour and it seems many Singaporeans' response is to stomp it. Indeed, in this article at least, excuse me, that bus seat is not your private footrest. Stomper Ponyfish was upset to see a tourist properly speed up on the opposite chair on bus 67 on August the 26th. Now Ponyfish said, I saw this young tourist or backpacker put his feet on the seat when the bus was not empty and most of the seats were occupied. I think they should behave well in foreign countries because this is just very disgraceful. Well, I have to say, it's not just foreigners who do it, but locals too. Because that's exactly also what Mega Priya said. Mm-hmm. Most of our locals do that too, no point complaining about <laughs> foreigners. Funnily enough, you know, more people seem to be peeved by the stomper taking a photo and sending it into Stomp instead of saying something to the tourists. Many double eight commented, Stomper really a disgrace to Singaporeans. Only know how to post picture and complain here, but did not open your mouth at the time. This is the problem with all Singaporeans. And Stomper Justice is blind added. So tired of seeing Singaporeans doing the same thing all the time. Come on, just open your mouth and say something. No need to post photos. Why? Are you worried that gold will drop out from your mouth if you open it? Unbelievable! Well, we're not really sure if this comment is legit or not. But it appears to be by the person featured in Stumper Pony Fish's picture. Yeah. <gasps> ding, 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 ding. No way! Yes. Well, let's check out what he wrote, okay? Mm. Now, the, dude, the dude wrote, Hello everyone, I am the guy on the photo. Nice picture, by the way. Actually, I am not a tourist or backpacker, but I've been living and working in Singapore for a few months now. Attention, Ponyo Fish. Next time, you should consider opening your mouth in real life instead of taking a stupid picture, you moron. So everyone else, have a nice day. Uh, That's not very nice. That's quite... uh, But the Empire Strikes Back. (sighs) Well, perhaps the Sumper should have said something, but I feel the guy who had his picture taken shouldn't have put his feet up in the first place. I'm with you on that, you know. He's not the only one who got stomped being inconsiderate one. Mm. And a woman gets cozy with boyfriend on train and deprives others of seat. Stumper Ian spotted a woman lying down on the MRT seat and resting her head in her boyfriend's lap. I was taking the MRT home with my girlfriend when I saw a woman slipping on a train, lying down on her boyfriend's lap. I think this is a very inconsiderate act. She would also dirty the seat. <laughs> well, no. so, more than 70% of the Stompers said they were enraged on the moon meter. No, Stomper Amateur only said, Oh my gosh, what bad example she is showing to others, especially the foreigners. This is really a selfish act. And Stomper Critic 701 said, This one is really too much. Lying down in a train in such a disgusting way. I wonder how come no one from uh, you know, the authorities went up to stop people like her. Now Woodsbury added, Can someone kind enough to give both selfish idiots two tight slaps to wake them up? Now, uh, I actually think it's true. That's would it. you have slapped them? I might not have slapped them, but I would have gone, and gone up, tap her and say, You know what, could you get up? I would like to have a seat. But, really? may- but maybe not the one where her legs are wrong, you know, because yeah, it's kind of a little bit disgusting. A little yeah. bit. A bit. Well, the string of inconsiderate behaviour didn't end there though. Mm. I'm guessing the next article would definitely mm. offend your sensibilities then. Yes. My sensibilities too, I think. <laughs> well, I am the last person to be a sweet, genteel woman. In fact, I can be quite tall, or, or, especially in front of my friends. Oh please, as if you didn't know that. But, <laughs> this next contribution by Stomper Malin made me shut up. Well, Stomper Malin spotted this girl propping her legs on not just one, but two chairs on the Jurong Central Park McDonald's. Malin said, I wanted to share what my friend sent me because I feel it's not right to do this in public. Plus, according to my friend, it was very crowded in the McDonald's and she didn't want to give up the seats to people who needed it. McDonald's is not your home. I agree! In the comfort of your home, it's one thing. But in McDonald's, and worse, when it's crowded and other people need seats and you're taking two for your feet. Unacceptable. Yeah, well, my Gmail seems to uh, agree with you with that, on that and said, you know, she should be ashamed with herself. You know, her friends must be embarrassed too. I'm not most ladylike woman, but even I think that sitting like that in public reflects badly on a girl. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not very, it's not very girly to sit like that. Like. Yeah, guan la. That's, that's the way it is. That's the way to put it. Yeah. Anyway, stick around, people, because up next we have Aaron Cyclist who gives cycling a bad rep.